Hi guys, today I wanted to record a haul video on what I bought for my birthday since my birthday was two days ago. And I just, it's not everything that I bought because basically I have some Ulta stuff that's going to be coming in. I think tomorrow I have another box. I have one that arrived today, but I want to do that one separate. I have a little mic I bought from Amazon. It's, um, it was about $23 I think. And I just want to see if you guys are able to hear me a little bit better because I'm trying to, I have to film in like different rooms right now. The boys are in the living room playing games and I'm trying to see if you guys can just hear me as opposed to a lot of the background noise and we'll just see how that works. But just to start off, I'm using one of my favorite lipsticks that I've worn a lot this month since I bought it. Uh, the Mary Jo K from Kylie Cosmetics. That's one of my favorites right now. And going into the holidays, I really wanna wear a lot of red, so that's that and we're gonna go straight into it I have a TJ Maxx uh, Marshalls and Sephora for today and then Ulta will be separate Sephora will be at the end so if you're interested just in makeup uh, you're gonna have to go ahead click ahead but the first things we're gonna show is something that my friend bought me I'm not sure where she got it from but it's just like basically workout pants but this is loungewear for me right now what I wear like every day to be around the house and do the distance learning with the boys. She got it with this top right here. They're both Fila. It's a nice little outfit. So can you guys see it? It's gonna be hard. So here you go. And it has that, that opening in the back. So that's what I got from my friend. Thank you, Tamiza, I love you. There's that, and then I bought a sweater at TJ Maxx. I think it was 19, it was 1999. My love language is shopping. So what I asked for my birthday was uh, basically just money if they, my husband gave me money, and then I got gift cards from my boys and my family. So that's why I enjoyed spending the day of shopping. So I ditched distance learning, told my husband to go ahead and take the day off, uh, and do the schooling with the kids and that's what we did and I went out with my sister and my mom for the day it was fun it was a lot of fun for me so here's this sweater it's really soft what brand is it 90 degrees I really like this brand I was telling my sister like I, I have um, workout pants from them and they're really comfortable so if you guys haven't tried 90 degree I know you can find it on Amazon but TJ Maxx always has it as well but if you don't even want to leave your house just go on Amazon I bought another pants from them. It's a workout one as well. Like I said, even if I don't work out, this is what I'm living in. But I need to start working out. I'm gonna try out CrossFit, um, one of my friends. I'm really scared because obviously I haven't worked out in a while. I'm really out of shape. But I'm gonna go try it. It's some like five free classes I think I'm gonna take. So this is 90 degrees. I think these are really pretty. Do you guys see the pattern? And I got these at Marshalls for $16.99, 90 degrees. This is this is a brand I really like. And like I said, I've, I have other pants from them, so I really do enjoy this brand, that's why. The only bad thing right now, you have to know your size and know if it fits, because when you go shopping right now, at least Marshalls and TJ Maxx and stuff, you can't try anything on. They let you return, but you can't try anything on. So here's some jeans. I don't have stuff that fits because I've obviously gained lots of weight. Uh, so here we go. $12, these were on clearance. Originally, they usually have them for $16.99. These are very stretchy and they're soft. So they're very comfortable. Ultra soft royal denim skinny jeans. So just some regular like black pants jeans that I can wear. And I would feel comfortable wearing these even around the house. But maybe more so for the weekends if I go to eat somewhere or do something with the boys. With my boys. So here's this. $19.99 for this shirt. I'm excited to wear this. I'll probably be wearing it in the video. I want to get um, a little bit more clothes. And then... So that's all the clothes I got. I didn't, I don't think I got too much, but we're gonna go into some of the other items. These lotions right here, I don't know if you guys have tried them, the ring lights. 
a little too strong to show you. Hemp's, and then my favorite smell, I had already opened this, is sweet pineapple and honey melon. The other one is the original and age defying. I know they sell these at Ulta. TJ Maxx always has these for like a cheaper price. This set of three um, was $7.99. And you know right now with when we're going out, at least me when I'm going out, I'm putting sanitizer on my hands uh, every time. Like I, I come in the car and so my hands are drying out. So I wanna carry, I'm carrying one of these lotions in my purse or I carry a backpack in my backpack so that is why i got this and i'm i run out of it really quick this one right here i actually loved it so much that i had a little one like this and i just would after the shower i put it all over my body next we have i've been having a hard time sleeping so i got this thing that says deep sleep lavender and chamomile pillow mist I've never tried something like this. This was $4.99. It smells really good. Oh, that lavender smell. It smells really good. So even if it just, you know, if I enjoy the smell while going to sleep. I've been taking melatonin to like the gummies I got at Walmart. And I, I go to sleep pretty easy with those. Like it helps me go to sleep fast because otherwise I think too much and I just can't fall asleep. Uh, but I've been waking up in the middle of the night a little bit, so I'm trying to get everything that I can to help me out and We'll see if this helps and we'll see what else Maybe I need to start meditating I know it looks messy back here because I'm putting everything back there I also got I think I got this more because you can't probably tell the real color because of the ring light It's a light pink color pink being my favorite color and I just I don't know $3.99 I got it so after you take a shower, brush your, they say it's, it's good for you. It's a wet hair brush. So hopefully I, anyways, it'll be good. It's nothing big about that. But now let's go into the exciting thing. Uh, we're going to go into my Sephora haul. Honestly, I feel it's not even a lot, but trust me, the amount you spend at Sephora for like five things becomes a lot. I'm going to go into the palettes that I bought. I just bought two palettes at the end because that is my favorite. Um, my thing. Oh, I didn't grab something to open this up. Oh, I've, I forgot this too. Oh, wow. I got this. It's a soap. Lemon smelling soap. It smells so good. And it was $3.99 at TJ Maxx. I love going, now we can't go because of the virus and everything, but I love going to uh, the model homes with my kids. If you guys are my friends and follow me on Snapchat, you always see me like visiting model homes. They have these kind of soaps on there because like they look nice and they put them out and they smell so good. And anyways, I just had to buy it so we could try it. Me and my son, uh, we're, we love like really good smelling things. So we're going to try that so let me see let's show the first thing we're going to show is the little sephora can you guys see this gift that they give you on your birthday for being a beauty insider this is the milk makeup it has a mascara a cheek what does it say a mini lip and cheek that's for the lips and cheek and then the hydro grip primer it has a sample, like a little sample of that, but I actually bought that primer because that primer really helps your makeup stay on. It comes in one of these. This is a sample. This is the mascara that they... Sorry if you guys can't see this stuff really good, but one of the kids is trying to come in here. I told them not to bother me for at least like 20 minutes. That's why there won't be no retakes or anything. This has a little, I think it kind of smells a little lemony too. But this right here is the, it's for the cheeks and the lips. This is really nice, I think, to take for when you go on vacation. I don't know, maybe we'll be able to take a vacation soon. My brother is actually going to Hawaii. He said, they said they have to take the coronavirus, uh, the test three days before they fly out. And I think if they go, they just, if they end up going and they don't get their test results, they just have to stay in the hotel for the 14 days or the week that they're going to be there. But it honestly, where they're staying at the Olani Hotel, where we've been there before, it's really nice. And it doesn't matter. Like, I would just, I don't have to go anywhere. If I go to Olani Hotel, 
I don't have to go out anywhere because I've been to Hawaii before several times and I don't need to go see the a lot of the stuff I've already seen so one of the things I'm gonna focus on right now or I'm gonna try to focus on right now during uh, this time is my hair it's been falling out so much and I know it's stress too but I feel like it's definitely falling out more than normal or what it should how uh, I'm losing lots of hair so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try these I heard from someone that I watch that they're good these are called the hum hair sweet hair it says hair sweet hair gummies with benefits and i tried them already as far as just what they taste like they taste good i don't know if they're gonna work out for me but i have i want to take hair vitamins and then i heard that vitamin d is actually really good for your hair too just trying to watch videos here on youtube on what i can do to help my hair and i'm gonna just try to do different things we'll see what happens i want to at least minimize the falling out because i can't lose all this hair so let's see gosh honestly feel like what i'm showing you from here is not a lot but it was a lot of money all right so this sunscreen gosh this is so bright i know i'll just read it you guys will have to look super goop unseen sunscreen it's spf 30 for my face and it feels so good i wore it today i already opened it and i wore it today and it's just because as i'm getting older the other thing i'm focusing on is not just i love wearing makeup but taking care of my skin more making sure that i wash my skin properly and take off my makeup and then put the nutrients back into it like making sure i'm using my eye cream and my a moisturizer and of course um, this sunscreen every single day even if you don't go out you know the sun is coming through your windows and so I would definitely put on moisturize I mean sunscreen every single day well moisturizer too obviously but let me I don't want to waste it but I'm gonna show you it feels this right here you can it feels so soft it's very very soft and it feels good so, and I really liked it. Like I said, I wore it today. Today was the first day that I wore it, um, but I really enjoyed it. So that, that was $34 on its own. This was, <clears throat> got me on the little aisle as you're going out. I think it was 10 or $15. I can't remember. And then obviously the, the milk makeup that they gave me was free. This right here was the Grip Primer little sample that they have as you're going. I didn't want to buy the big one anyways uh, this is really good this primer I've had I had a little sample of it before and it's really good for your makeup to last especially right now that we're wearing our mask when we're going out and if if you're putting on makeup you want it to last I would try this I would try this the milk makeup hydro grip primer definitely let me this is soft see you would put you would put it on top of the next layer of, of the sunscreen actually so here we go i haven't let's see sorry if i'm talking too fast too i'm still trying to get used to doing videos and everything and it has a, a sticky a sticky feel to it but i i guess i have gotten used to it it's fine it goes on pretty good so there's that there's this new laura mercier uh, translucent setting powder in the color honey i've had her other translucent powder and they're they work really good but for us darker skin uh, just to let you guys know i go from an nc40 to an nc42 in mac makeup and this is supposed to be this is supposed to work really good for us darker complexion and what i do with this part powder i don't put it all over my face just because i don't want to waste it and it's expensive this little one was 23 uh, 23 dollars for 0.33 ounces the bigger one i'm not sure I, I just like to buy the little ones for whatever reason i feel i haven't opened it and i don't think you're, i'm not gonna spill it or anything but i'm excited to try this I'm going to be doing like get ready with me makeup next and I will be showing you guys, you know, using it, but I haven't, 
everybody it, everybody's been raving about it so far here on youtube the videos i've seen so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna love it because i love her other one and this one should match better for me uh match me up better and i got the huda beauty i think you can see it better here huda beauty haze palette the khaki haze palette i'm excited i love the shimmery colors in her palettes uh, that's why i get it the mattes are good too but i'm just into the shimmery ones i don't know why they do this plastic i actually hate it it's really hard to open and everybody talks about how it's not good for our environment so she should just not let's see look at how pretty that is see the shim what i get most excited about is the shimmers we have this one here and this one so we have one two three four and it looks like we have one two three four five mattes and i don't have in any of the palettes that i have i don't have like this color that looks like a like a greenish color let's put, i don't i have primer there so that's a pretty color i'm excited to use that one let's take out the watch so that we can try to swatch a little bit this is what i was excited to show the most i didn't grab anything give me a minute give me a minute here i'm gonna grab a shirt that he has here we gotta wash it anyways to take some of it off let's see let's see let me do the shimmery ones i'm gonna start with this one here oh that looks really pretty and then this one, this one here, and then I'm just doing the shimmery ones. And I don't know the names of these colors, but oh, that doesn't matter to me. The color is what matters. Wow, wow. Do you guys see that? I wish I could have done this in the daylight. Right now it's like 8 o'clock or 7. No, I think it's 7. And it's dark, so I couldn't send the boys to their rooms and let me film just the video. Let's do some of the mats. The other ones, that the other four I didn't do. Ooh. This pink one I would use as a transition, like doing the uh, outer side so let's see you get to see it on darker skin i know the videos i've seen at least uh, most of the ones i've seen is like lighter complexion girls where their skin's not as dark as mine here you go that's not a good one because of my it's my pinky but they go on really well i'm really excited to use this one I want to use this one um, in like just an eyeshadow tutorial that I can do on here for you guys. Or for myself, I should say. All right, let's. If I get good at doing this, I'll remember to bring, you know, a little wipe or something to, to show you guys really good. But maybe I can, when I do the eyeshadow tutorial, I can show it a little bit better again. Natasha Denona this is what I use on my eyes today I just put it back in here it's really simple it's a really simple eye look but this is what I love this palette for I think it's a it's a really good everyday palette um, and I think everybody should get it it was $65 it's one of her cheaper ones I don't have her like bigger palettes because they're $125 or so uh, yeah <clears throat> I'm not rich yet to do let's see look at all these colors okay what am i i'm on my eyelid i'm i don't like the names either we'll talk about that later inner corner it says right here but i use this one that says inner corner on my lid today and then i think did i mix it i think i put this other one it says the same name down here right here this one i use that one right in the center too and it they both are named inner corner so if i was to like 
you know, just trying to be ex explaining it to you guys, it's kind of confusing saying inner corner and inner corner. They both say the same name. So these are the two that I used on my lid. I mean, you can't really tell. I just kind of mixed them. And then what else did I use? The only thing with this palette is I would use, I would, I would um, bring in a little bit lighter for my uh, upper area right here. The transition, it says transition right here. I don't, I like it a little bit lighter right here. It probably is going to look a little white, but it's not, uh, it's a little brownish beige color, I think. And so I use this one up here, basically right here. Which I'm putting it on again but I would have liked I would have liked something just a little lighter but for my darker skin girls this palette is perfect I think it's really going to show uh, up really well on your eyelids and your eyes and then that one would be a really good brow bone color for you uh, let's see um, what else so I use this one in the crease and then I darkened it up and it says crease color it tells you so for those of you that actually you know don't do your makeup that much and you're trying to learn how to do your makeup and you look at a palette like this and you're not sure how how to use it that's why she made it like this Natasha Denona uh, put where you can put the colors so for example this one says center of the eyelid so you would just put it in the center it's telling you where to place the color it's this one says blend so you would blend this one and this one says smoke the smoke means you're going to smoke your outer outer portion of the of the eye inner corner is like the inner part right here and center eyelid again so like i said a lot of them have the same name because it's telling you where to place the shadow on your eyes uh, i don't like those names because I, I look at a palette and I kind of know where I want to put it like I start getting ideas of like how I want to use it So that's why I don't like the names But for those of you that don't know how to use eyeshadows This one is a really good one to grab and start practicing on your own It tells you and then you can just say okay today I want to use you know blend and just use that one inner corner Basically it tells you on here brow bone right here this one right here it says let me see Let's watch it Mm. these are beautiful colors so brow bone outer eyelid center eyelid again outer eyelid center eyelid so there you go basically we have the same numbers but i want or same names i want to use this one in a tutorial as well but that's what i'm using today i like i said i use this one i mix these this crease color that's right here and a little bit of this one on the like smoked it out just a little bit but not not really you can't tell because I blended it I just blended into the the crease color that I used and the inner corner here and this one's mixed and onto my eyelid that was practically it and that one on my brow bone right here and that was it that's the look that I have a very simple fast and easy look this is a beautiful everyday color I think I'm I, I palette I think this is beautiful for weddings uh, people that don't like to do too much and you just want to do like a, a simple but beautiful wedding look. I think this is a, a beautiful palette for that. So that's, I believe, all the items that I got for my birthday. And I had a really, really good time uh, going to, the only bad thing, I don't know if I said it, going to Sephora these days. You can't swatch anything. And for any of us makeup lovers, you know that you go in there and you want to start touching everything and swatching it on your arms and seeing how it looks but these days you we can't do none of that so that's the only thing i missed out on and when you go into the store as you're standing in the line outside they start telling you you know all the rules like you can't touch the stuff and you can't swatch and <clears throat> and all of that so that's the only the only bad thing but stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel especially if you're my friend just subscribe help me get my subscriber count up uh, this is just something i'm doing for fun and i'm loving and i'm going to show you the one box that did come from ulta this will be one of my next videos 
because I think tomorrow I get the other box because my kids got me Ulta gift cards. And so I'm going to do that video next. So this is the one that came in today and I haven't even opened it. And then I should get one tomorrow. And I think if, if I get it tomorrow, I will just film tomorrow and I will upload it. This is a long video. Sorry about that, guys. But I love everything I got. Hopefully, if you guys have any questions or anything, just let me know. And I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully, see you tomorrow.